Mariana Tonini Villas Boas, and I work with traditional and digital media painting. I identify as a Latino Brazilian. COVID affected me in, in so many ways, uh, especially because. Uh, I'm, I'm studying here in New York and my whole family still lives in, in Brazil. Traveling or visiting them, it's something that can't happen right now. I spent three months almost without leaving my house and uh, being social with people. And that was, that was a period very, very intense. Staying out after so long uh, quarantining is definitely feels um, feels good. It gives me energy. Um, just not being in my computer or my phone or cupped up inside of a office that is my home right now. It feels feels pretty good. It was a challenge creating art for a space out in the open, uh, especially for a painting. Um, I'm not sure how uh, it's gonna survive or, or what is gonna happen to it, which is kind of um, exciting and at the same time scary. I wanted the painting to integrate parts of the park. So for example, I, I put on some twigs. I wanted the art, the painting to be integrated with the tree. So not just um, the color, but um, the objects that surrounds it and, and uh, makes the frame of the painting. So Marielle is an activist uh, and I chose this space because I wanted her to be the central piece and I thought that the, the, this, this space, the crab apple trees, they offered that. Um, it's it's a space that people come here to picnic and to gather together and to have fun. And I wanted Marielle to be able to be seen. So this is Marielle Franco. She was an activist from Brazil, from Rio de Janeiro. Very high spoken person. She was a politician too. Uh, she worked heavily for um, the rights, human rights and, and the poor people, especially the black community and people need to know her name and people need to know all the work that she did to keep on doing it, to keep, to keep her alive.